it's working off real well today. So we got ourselves a couple of houses here that we're gonna have to do. But I want to show you again. Right here, look at this. One, two, three, four, five nails that are exposed. And then right here, a couple more. And then over here. So that's, uh, like I said, you always gotta be careful when you're uh, stepping around your uh, your own attic because sometimes these are going to be covered and not obvious and then you know you can go on the one side turn around and this is in your face so for the carpenters that are doing this stuff please you know bend the nails so that uh, other tradesmen electricians plumbers because it's not just me obviously going into the attic uh, that uh, everybody is safe so one uh, thing I want to address in this video is there's one individual that asked about venting in his existing house and said that he has a gable wall. For those that don't know what a gable wall is, this right here is our gable wall. Right, so you've got uh, uh, two pitches on your roof and not uh, four pitches. So you've got coming down and coming down and then you've got your flat wall right here your flat OSB wall. So that's uh, considered your gable wall. And in the best case scenario, your gable wall at the very top on the edges should have venting. In this case, it doesn't. And uh, I mean, if you're to build your own custom home, I would recommend uh, having venting up there and you can talk to your um, designer for that or your builder uh, because it does provide a great amount of airflow uh, when you do have that available to you. So the question was that should I air seal the, the floor or the attic floor before you add any insulation? Well, the, the obvious answer to that question is yes. And I'll show you uh, one main thing that you should really pay attention to for air sealing. If I walk right over here, this is your exterior wall right beside your gable wall. And use sometimes or more often than not you've got your vent plumbing vent that goes through and this is the weak spot right here so this has to be sealed properly so you can get your can of spray foam go around here and then fill this gap you can't see it now but on the inside this is filled with uh, the uh, not necessarily a can of well it's it's a can of spray foam but it's a uh, spray foam gun that uh, our guys use the Hilti brand and uh, so it does a really good job expansion foam it's the same type of foam that they use uh, for around the windows and so it seals it up seals these gaps up real nice as well as any holes where electrical wires go through for your uh, interior walls that's all uh, sealed up as well to uh, meet the energy star code our energy star requirement so that's the main thing that I find, especially if you have something like this that's right beside a slope roof, then I've seen where if it's not sealed, you're gonna have black mold right along the uh, underside of your OSB or plywood on the attic side if you don't seal that up because that's huge uh, vapor heat loss, especially if like that area say is the bathroom, then uh, you're just asking for trouble. So once you're done air sealing that area, that plumbing line or those uh, electrical wires, then you can uh, install a nice R60 like I'm doing right here, right over top of it so that uh, your home is uh, nice and warm. So today it's uh, around 13 degrees uh, Celsius. So you can see some dew that's forming on the roof side. So it's uh, getting a little chilly. We're uh, starting to see the fall weather coming in so it's uh, definitely one of the prime times because it, uh, it's not too too hot especially during uh, the morning so you can get up there and you can start your work you're not uh, sweating like crazy and it's also not too too cold where it's uh, gonna hit in the minuses where you're freezing up there so it's uh, yeah I mean it's pretty it's a pretty ideal situation uh, I'm pretty comfortable <laughs> uh, right now, so I uh, really love this type of weather. 
because you can do a lot of work and uh, you're not dead by the end of the day. And then here's some soft fence that you can install. My other videos show a little bit uh, how to install those. Uh, there's a good video on uh, can I fit. So it was a top up that I did and it's very shallow attic and I show how I install those uh, vents to extend the vents. But we're gonna have to go through this little uh, extension area and properly insulate this. So that's gonna be fun. Let's see if I can do this. All right, gonna have to stop the machine here. You always gotta watch out for your, your step because again, there's no crossers that help me go through here. here it's one of the reasons why a plank is always useful in these types of situations and any time that there's a change in the truss orientation there's always a double truss with a two by six base So you know you can use that to get into these little tight areas. So before I forget, make sure to give that this video a nice thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And also press on that uh, notification bell so that you know when I'm uploading new content. Uh, I'm doing my best to upload more often now so that uh, you guys get the answers to your questions in a timely manner. So I'm uh, answering questions sort of like this live while I'm doing my work. Okay, so put a comment down below and I'll get to your questions as soon as I can. So just a little side note, what I've done so far is to help me mark. I've got this uh, healthy retractable device and then I put a pen on it so then I can measure I've got uh, measuring tape in my one pocket and then after that I just mark it and uh, so therefore I don't have to worry about taking the pen out of my pocket it just hangs right here and I've got access to it mm -hmm. 